eventually the world will be destroyed. Et enfin, le monde est détruit. It is only a matter of time. Juste une affaire du temps. Only time will tell. Seulement le temps va nous dire. If God, who is the head of this man, si Dieu, is si there, le chef de cet homme, this ça, man will walk in such a way that the family will be sustained the church will be sustained and the world at large will be sustained hallelujah now I hear people say they want to destroy the church of God have you heard that one before individuals will rise up in the church and they will say we will make this church to go down. I have a good news for you. You can't destroy the church of God. I want the devil to hear this. Because the head of the church is not a man. The head of the church is Christ. God. And he said in his word that he will do what? Purely his church, and no one will be able to bring it down. So, if you are struggling hard to see that the church will go down, then you are wasting your time. You better repent. Is somebody following me? You better repent because the church cannot go down because the one who is the head is at the same time the foundation of the. The church. Now, can I say this one? Can I say this one? Now, the devil says he wants to destroy homes. He wants to destroy families. If the head of the church cannot be destroyed, then the head of homes can equally not be destroyed. Somebody is not getting this one. Somebody is not getting this one. If the head of the church, yeah, who is Christ, cannot be destroyed, then the head of Rome's, whose head is Christ, will eventually also not be destroyed. And Rome's families will not be destroyed because Jesus Christ came to fix it. He came to restore it. He came to redeem it for his glory. Sir, that is why we are here. That is why Dominion Outreach Church is here. To fix homes. To use Christ and fix families. Because the devil would destroy any home any longer. As long as we are here. Thank you. Thank you. Is somebody following this? If you are head of a home yet, I want to encourage you. Your home will not be destroyed. You are the head of that home. You were ordained by God to be the head of that home. You didn't come out as a maid by hazard. You didn't come out as a maid by chance. There is something that was bestowed upon you to be the head. You are head. Is that part of your body that has the most sensitive parts? So they can cut off your legs. You survive. Am I talking to somebody? They can cut off your arms. You survive. Am I, we've seen people they have cut of the two, they survive. But sir, if they cut off your head, I don't know if someone is following me. We're talking about the head of homes. In other words, we're saying the head of that home is the leader of that home. Is the one to whom if anything goes wrong, he's the one to be held accountable. I don't know if I'm talking to someone. If they come in an organization and there's a problem in that organization, who is the first person they are going to call? They will ask the head. Are we together? They will ask the head, right? The same thing goes with homes. If you are the head of that home, I want you to know that if that home is not standing, God is calling but you. That 
That is why in the garden of Eden, who first ate the fruit? Who first ate the fruit? When God came, did God not know that it was Eve that first ate the fruit? I'm asking now. But who did God first come? Who did He come? Because He had given Adam. The head of the head of the host. Everything goes wrong in this garden. And now it is you, our whole responsibility. We have heads of hosts who have given their position to the female. And they think that when God will come, He will ask. What went wrong here to the female? Yes. I want to announce to you. You will be held responsible. You better rise up. And take that position. If you are the head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know. I used to get angry with my wife. And uh, we would go for days. And I say, you started this thing. You must come up to see that we fix this thing. If you don't come up, ça sort comme ça sort. And I was told that when there's conflict, there are two sides. We have the peace dwellers and the peace I want to announce to you this morning. If you are the head of the hope, no matter how they have taught you, and you think you are a peace dweller, I want you to change that. Am I talking to somebody? I want you to change that because if something goes wrong in that hope, you will be held responsible. Naturally, sir, men are supposed to be the peace you are the one to call for peace in that hope. I've tried it. And that is how it works. I don't know if somebody is getting what I'm saying. Don't wait for her. If there's a problem, please go out. She will come. You are the head. You determine the atmosphere of the home. Am I talking to somebody here? Yes. If you want that home to go bitter, it will go bitter. Ladies, go and try it. If you want the home to go bitter, try it and let the head come back. I said this atmosphere must change now. It will change. I'm talking about the head. I'm talking about the head of the home. If you allow it, you will be held responsible. So what does it mean to be head of a home? That's what I want us to talk about. Now that you know who is the head, what does it mean to be the head? What does it mean? Number one, husband, love your home. Husband, do what? You are not answering, the children are answering for this one. Husbands, do what? A husband in the house. Love your home. Love your wife and children. Sorry, there's one thing I've learned from you. Is how to love my wife and the children. Hallelujah. When you go to Ephesians 5, 25, say, Husband, love your wife. Just as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for her. We are working with two. They say, husband, you are head. As who? 
Christ. As Christ is also there. Now they say, husband, love your as Christ did what? Also love this. But as I'm talking right now, it is boiling in what somebody's heart now. Are you asking me to love that nothing woman? That disrespectful woman? That stubborn woman? Those children that do not listen to me? Are you asking me to love them? I will tell you, capital, yes. Love them no matter their actions. Listen, they said, as Christ loves the church. How is the church of Christ? Can we describe the church of Christ? Please help me. Let's describe the church of Christ today.